It's happening, everybody. We're finally doing it. We're going over modules. The day has been long awaited and it's finally here. So this video isn't going to be super exciting. It's not going to go over any specific modules or anything like that, but it's going to go over where you can find different modules, uh, how to install them, how to update them, when it's safe to update them, when it's safe to update Foundry when you're using modules, and a whole bunch of other good information that is kind of core to know when you're actually using modules. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into where you can find modules. So if you go to foundry.com or foundryvtt.com slash packages, you'll actually have this, this package categories page where you can find uh, different categories of modules that will hopefully make it a little bit easier for you to find what you're looking for. You can find uh, actor and item sheet updates, visual facts, content packs, integrations, dice rolling, a whole bunch of different stuff. So let's go into... Uh, content importers and here you get a quick list of the available modules within that uh, category you've got the project name that will link directly to kind of an additional uh, package page on foundryvtt.com that will give you a description you've got information about the author where you can see their uh, profile page uh, their project URL, which is normally going to be like a GitHub or a GitLab account or page or something like that. The version number, description of what it does, uh, its tags, uh, what its compatible version numbers are, and this very important link down here, the manifest URL. So remember that manifest URLs are important. We're going to go back uh, a little bit and you can see that there's also a manifest URL pay or link here. Uh, one other pay uh, place that you can go to to look for uh, modules that might strike your fancy is the Foundry VTT uh, community wiki uh, and this is great because it's a full bulleted list of just about everything that's available not everything and the Foundry VTT site doesn't have everything either uh, but a whole bunch of different things and this is great if you want a quick view of names of everything or if you just like really long pages uh, and you can click on any one of these modules and it will bring you down to their specific section of the page where you can get more author information, version number, compatibility, system compatibility, like if it doesn't, if it only works with D&D 5e or something like that, uh, or if it only works with Pathfinder or whatever. Uh, you can get links to the project URLs. Uh, this is the manifest URL, even though it's not uh, quite called that here. You can also get descriptions, and you might also find here links to Patreon or PayPal or Ko-Fi or Coffee. I'm not sure how that one's actually pronounced. Uh, and that's because some of the modules uh, require you to be a supporter on Patreon uh, to get access to them, to install them. Uh, some of them just appreciate it if you sub or, or tip or buy a ration or, or whatever it is. Um, and if there's a module that you're getting a lot of use out of that really improved your game or something like that, it I would really recommend uh, showing some love to the developers because a lot of them are doing this for free and their spare time and they help people with their mod modules all day and uh it's a lot of work and uh the better we treat module creators then hopefully the more modules they'll create the more players it will attract the more people will get that make modules that uh will hopefully keep making foundry vtt better for the rest of us so hopefully we can keep the community good and friendly and if you do have uh any issues there is a place where you can talk directly to the module creators, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, but first, we're going to go to one of the other places that you can find uh, Foundry modules, and that's actually in the Foundry VTT Discord, which I'll link down below. Um, there's the release announcement channel down here under community projects, where you can scroll through and see a whole bunch of uh, updates to modules as they come through. Uh, so you can scroll through this to find module that you're maybe not familiar with or see if a module that you are familiar with has a new feature that makes you really want to try it out or anything like that. And then if you do have bugs or issues or if you just want to ask if a module exists that does a specific thing or anything like that, get any kind of direction, you can always come down to community projects and then the channel module discussion where people pretty much all day are in here talking about what modules they use, how to do specific things in specific modules, uh, and everybody's really nice. So if you have any problems, feel free to come in here and post, but please keep in mind that the people that are developing the modules may not be in your time zone. They may not be available immediately because uh, almost all of them have their own jobs and things that they're working on in their own lives. Uh, so just be patient. Somebody else might be able to help you or you might have to 
uh, wait a little bit for them to be able to respond to you. But everybody that I've talked to in here has been super nice and super helpful. So anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, we can actually jump over to Foundry and see the last place uh, that you can find uh, modules for Foundry. And that's actually over here in the add on module section. We can click into install module and then we'll get a pretty long uh, module list. This also doesn't have everything in it. Some of these, uh, some additional modules may not be on any of these lists, uh, might only be on somebody's random GitHub account or something like that if they haven't linked it. Uh, but you can find an awful lot of things in here. And this has almost all of the same information that the other sections that we've looked at have, uh, where you've got a title, you've got a description, a project URL, version number, an install button. And you may click on this thinking that it will take you to the project URL. Uh, and when you click on it, it actually doesn't really look like it did anything. But uh, down here, this manifest URL that keeps popping up, uh, it populated it with the uh, manifest URL for that module. So that's one other way that you can uh, get the manifest URL down here, and then you could click install. But uh, you can also come up here to the package name field, and we're going to use turn marker as our example module. So I'm going to just type that in. It'll pop up, and we can click here to go to the project page. And this uh, module is made by Brunhein, uh, who is also in the Discord and is a super nice guy. Um, and on these project pages, you can find installation instru instructions, uh, videos of how it works. You might find explainers of what it does, how to do certain things, uh, descriptions of what all the settings are. And you can also find uh, call-outs to other people who have been involved with the project, like Ren made all of the art for this, uh, and it looks really great. So big shout out to them. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, and then you can also normally find down here again, that manifest URL that we've been talking about. And also Brunhein has a website, it's brunhein.com. And specifically for turn marker, you can go to slash FVTT slash turn marker, uh, get a little bit more information and some spinning views of all the different art that's available, installation instructions and all that stuff. There's also gonna be some other things on here. I saw that there were some rollable tables and uh, things like that. So it looks really cool. Um, but let's jump back to Foundry. We're gonna go back to Turn Marker. We're gonna click Install here. You get this loading bar as everything gets pulled in. Uh, we see that module Turn Marker was installed successfully. But we also got this warning of Turn Marker version 2.5.1 may not be compatible with Foundry VTT versions newer than 0.5.6. Now that does not mean that it won't work. It just means that that it just means that it may not work. Uh, what this is basically saying is that there's a file in the module that shows or that lists what the latest version it's been tested against by the developer in. And for turn marker, that's 0 0.5.6. 0 uh, but for me, it does work in 0 0.5.7. Uh, I guess there could be a situation where it doesn't, but I haven't run into any issues using it. Uh, so this doesn't mean that it won't work, just that it may not. And it's important uh, if you are using a module and it is not listed as compatible that if you're going into the discord and you're mentioning that you're having issues just to be sure to also include that information because there could be a known bug or that it could help narrow down whatever the issue is if somebody says that it does work in a previous version now let's talk quickly about updating if you are running foundry and you're running foundry with modules you want to be careful when you're updating either one so when you're updating foundry it might change how a feature works that a module is using and that could cause the module to break or if you update a module but you haven't updated to the latest version of foundry the module could start relying on something that's in the new version of foundry but since you don't have it it could cause an issue uh, and sometimes you can be on the latest version of foundry uh, and the latest version of a module but because of some difference in the way that some aspect of it's working you can run into issues so if you have a game coming up or if there's a new version of Foundry VTT coming out or anything like that it may be worthwhile to wait a couple days make sure that everything works uh, across the board for other people let them kind of do the testing for you uh, and normally the developers are pretty good about quickly getting things up to the latest compatibility versions but also remember they've got their own lives uh, do not be mean to them in the discord uh, 
be nice and be patient and be kind. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go over here to the Game Worlds tab and actually look at how we can activate these modules uh, that we just installed. So we're going to click Launch World. Scroll down here. We can come over to the Game Settings area, click on Manage Modules, and this will have a list of all of the modules that you've installed in Foundry, uh, and we can check them to activate them. Hit Save Module Settings. It's going to reload the application. And... Then if we come back to game settings, we can see in manage modules, it's still checked, everything looks good. And then we can also come up to configure settings and there's a module settings area where all of our modules will be split up uh, by their different headings uh, for whichever module it is and you can make changes that you want to. This is a full look at turn marker, so we're not gonna dive into all of it right now, but turn marker will be getting its own video or combo video with some other combat enhancements that I use. Uh, so look out for that, but let me hit close here and let's just see what difference that actually made. So if we highlight all of these creatures, uh, we right click on them, we add them to a combat encounter and we roll it. We can see that we've got uh, all of the combat order set up here. And if we hit begin combat, we get this uh, tile underlaid underneath Almac, who is actually at the top of the combat round. If we move all back around, it follows him around. Uh, so we can always know who is currently going up in the combat. We can click through uh, to each round and it will move to the various different uh, tokens in the combat encounter, which is great. I just ran a combat encounter with 28 different combatants in it last night. And if we didn't have a way of easily tracking who was going currently, it would have been much more of a nightmare to try to figure out who was making an attack and everything would have taken way longer. So there's a lot of modules out there that are small and they're simple, but they can have a huge impact to the quality of life uh, of your game. And so I would definitely recommend looking at them. We're going to be going over a whole bunch more in module highlights over the next few weeks. Uh, if there's any modules that you want me to look at specifically, I know there's a lot of people looking for dynamic effects, looking for trigger happy, and I'm not sure that those are going to be immediate releases just because they're complex and they have a lot of moving parts and covering all of them will probably be long-winded uh, and and take a lot of explaining but uh, they will come out eventually uh, but if there's any other modules that you definitely want covered then feel free to post down below and uh, I'll take a look and I'll try to prioritize based on uh, what people mention and then one other thing that I wanted to mention was that I was looking at streaming on Twitch, or I guess I could do it on YouTube too, or maybe even both at the same time. Uh, me going through some of the modules and basically live streaming me figuring out how they work because I have to figure all this stuff out uh, before I can make a video on it and kind of writing the script and maybe even working on my game and testing some of it out and see how it might uh, impact what I'm doing. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing that, let me know. I have a Twitch account. It's twitch.tv slash encounter library. I haven't streamed there yet or even like put anything on it because I wasn't sure if anybody would care. Uh, but if that is something that you're interested in looking at, we can hang out. We can talk D&D &D and learn how uh, modules work. You can ask any questions about how Foundry works. I'll try to answer them if I know. If not, I'll maybe be able to figure it out. Uh, but if you're interested, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.